team this year that, that the national crowd's going to get a chance to see? Uh, yes, Sam's been great for us. He's been our true leader, uh, comes out and provides a lot of energy, keeps us all together. Uh, when times get tough or, uh, you know, we face a little adversity, Sam's right there to pick us up and uh, see him out there making big plays. I'm, I'm happy to have him here and uh, be working with him alongside of him. Rams defense. We know Aaron Donald now. Uh, his Rams defense. They they fly around. Uh, you know they got pieces all, on on every level. So you just gotta you gotta be ready. They're, we know they're familiar with the kind of our scheme. We're familiar with their scheme. So it's gonna really come down to the fundamentals, honing in on everything. I have to worry about Aaron Donald though. hundred percent, hundred percent. You know he's a he's a game changer. So uh, happy he's retired and not no longer facing him. How'd you come out of that game? Uh, I came out great. Uh, I was able to kind of play the way I wanted to play. Uh, I think it showed on my first carry and um, showed that it, that I was I no no problems out of it, and I'd be good. Uh, I mean, it's you play a football game, you're gonna be scored. <laughs> yeah, just just general soreness all over, full body. Yeah. Do you think it's something you'll have to manage con continuously moving forward, or is it you back to pretty much? I, I feel like I'll be back to normal. I don't feel like it's something I continue to have to manage, but I'm going to continue to stay on top of it uh, on my end, do everything to check the boxes so don't, I don't end up back in that situation. But um, not so much a concern, though. Aaron, just as far as Sam as, as a person, um, obviously you guys both came in new this year and you have lockers next to each other. Just what has it been like, you know, having his locker next to yours and just getting to know him off the field? Uh, Sam's been great. Uh, no, he loves California, California kids. So uh, happy he's going back, getting this, uh, getting a chance to go back and play, like you said, in, a, on, in front of the national audience in California. Just kind of that home, kind of homecoming feeling. But uh, Sam's, he's he's an awesome, awesome dude. Uh, amazing to be around. Uh, joy to come to work with every day. Uh, but it will also crack some jokes, get you laughing. You're like, Sam, you got that up your sleeve? Um, so he, you, you never know a Sam, but he, uh, I love the guy. He, uh, he's been like a, a huge, huge, uh, huge, sorry, he's been huge in, in helping me uh, come in, learn the offense super fast, uh, have any questions, even in game. Uh, he, he's right there to check all those boxes, square everything away so I can just go play fast. How much urgency is there? I mean, after starting five and zero, you obviously don't want to lose two games in five days. Now, uh, you know, we're not thinking about losing two games in five days. It's just uh, our process. Um, continue to do, do the things that we've we've done. Um, we highlighted we've done some good things in that game and things that we can uh, correct and move on. But uh, correct those mistakes so we can play a clean game. Because when all eleven are on the same page, we're pretty tough to deal with. The way this division looks, there's no margin for error, right? Every week is. Uh, yeah, in this in the game of football, there's really no no margin of error, and I feel like that showed um, in the in this previous game, and it's that's football. So, uh, the more you're on your p's and q's, the less amount of mistakes that um, you guys are making as a whole, the more successful you'll be. Aaron, what, what do you think is the most important thing for the offense as a whole to kind of find the next gear? Um, I, I, I feel like just stop hurting ourselves uh, with. The little penalties, uh, whether it may be like a false start or um, lining up offsides, uh, illegal formations, a little bit of everything. And um, everybody's had a little hand in it, you know. So um, just getting that cleaned up across the board, and I feel like we'll be good. And it's just kind of honing in on the details. And I feel like after you get a lot of reps at plays, then you can really hone in on the details. So I think I feel like that's where we're at. Here with Cam Akers, having come back from two Achilles injuries. Just what does that say about him? And I know you just met him for the first time last week, but what have you noticed about his work ethic and how uh, much he loves the game? It, it says a lot, and I think uh, the biggest thing it says about him, he has a tattooed on his back, resilient. Um, you see nothing's going to stop him. Uh, he comes in here happy every day, um, even my first time meeting him. I mean, I've met him after game quickly, quick interaction, but really getting to meet him, talk to him, um, he, he's a joy to have here. Uh, look, I'm, I'm happy I get to pick his brain as well. So me, him, and Ty, Miles, we're all picking each other's brains, seeing how we could get better, come off the field, hey, what did you see? Uh, so just, we're all just try here to make each other better, and that's the, that's the biggest thing. Great, Thanks, sir. sir. <laughs>